Hello again, a warm welcome. It's now time for Hungary's meet and greet. So please give Freddy a warm hand. <laughs> Here. I'm going to leave the photographers to uh, have a little opportunity here. Thank you. Please take your seats. Well, hello. How are you, Freddy? Thank you very much. Does that work? Yeah, it works. Yeah. It works. Thank you very much. Uh, we are all excited. We are uh, over the first rehearsal. It was it was really good. We love the meetings. Everybody's really really helpful. Everybody's more than professional. So uh, we are getting more and more comfortable, which is great. Excellent. Could you please introduce your colleagues? Yeah. Uh, please let me introduce. Uh, well, half of the full moon. A uh, well-known a cappella band, Voda La Barna. Nice to meet yeah. you. Uh, Mészáros Tomás, he's Tom. And Monar Gábor. Actually, it's, it's five of them, but three of them is uh, along with me, and they are helping uh, Pioneer to be even better. Excellent. And Monar Gábor, you were actually in, in the Eurovision before. In Belgrade? Yes, I've been in uh, 2008 mm -hmm. in, in Belgrade with uh, Chasey mm -hmm. and uh, it was also very nice. So you can bring some Eurovision experience into, yeah, yeah, I had some into the team, that's some great. Team. So Freddy, you started out writing poetry very young, lyrics for songs. Where did you get your inspiration from? Well, to tell you the truth, uh, I, I was really, really uh, an ugly um, guy, I mean, you know, uh, I don't think there is any man who is uh, on his top when he's about 14 years okay. old, but uh, I suffered from uh, something even deeper, so it uh, mm. didn't work out really well for me. That was uh, quite a tough five uh, years of my life, which uh, probably made me a little introverted. I wasn't depressive, um, not, not, not like that, but I was, I was really, really still, I was really, really calm, mm -hmm. I was, I was uh, really, really uh, introverted, and everything uh, I felt, all my feelings was uh, basically written out uh, by poems, and that's just actually held my soul uh, to breathe. Uh, but I didn't know that those poems would actually uh, transform into lyrics or, or something like that. And probably help other young people too. I'm sorry? And probably help other young people too. Yeah. Um, it's, it's, it's a great, it's a great, uh, it, it's a great stuff. But back then I never would have thought that I would uh, sing because none of my family, uh, actually I uh, was raised in a family who loved music all the way. But nobody played on any instrument. Uh, nobody uh, sang any note, so I really, really don't know where it uh, came from, but I'm, I am just truly infatuated with music, and it, it means the world to me. I don't know where it came from, but I'm, I'm more than happy to be here and to, to do uh, what I love the most in this, in this world, so um, we are all happy to be here. Terrific. Uh, your first memory of Eurovision? Do, do, do you remember your first memory? I mean, what is your experience from Eurovision before? What does it relate to you as, you as a person? Well, I have to tell you that uh, because of the fact that I'm, I'm 
I'm kind of a, uh, a young artist, uh, not by age, but it's, it's only been a year uh, that I am around uh, in Hungary as well, uh, which means that I did not follow that thoroughly Eurovisions or any kind of international sound contests, nor the Hungarian uh, ones. Uh, my first impression was in Israel, in Tel Aviv, uh -huh. because uh, we could made it. And uh, it was amazing. We had a great uh, two uh, days in, in Tel Aviv. And what I loved about it, how much people love this uh, this contest, uh, which is which is so good. You know, 43 countries, a lot of countries, a lot of different tastes in music, and that is why uh, it it just reaches millions of people because basically everybody can uh, find his or her needs musically. Uh, it's such a complex question what, what to do here, but the first impression is that they are in love uh, with the sound contest. As for me, uh, for, a, for a young artist, uh, traveling a couple of thousands of kilometers and having hundreds of people uh, singing along our song, it was just, it was just stunning, it was amazing. Uh, I couldn't even sing. I was just smiling. I was singing while smiling because I, mm -hmm. I can't do anything. It is amazing, and and of course I, I don't even know uh, what is uh, waiting on us here. How about the stage? Does it frighten you, or is it? How does it feel to, to even? No, be on it, it is. It is really, really strange. Uh, I don't care about if I if I sing to thirty people or mm -hmm. or to thirty thousand. You know, it, it just comes from inside and. Uh, there were so many seats, you know, and, and, it's, and, and it's, it's and it's amazing. But I don't feel that it is a, it is attention. I don't feel I, I don't think that I'm going to be shocked. I think I'm going to be encouraged, motivated, and it is it is one of lifetime stuff, I guess. So I really would like to uh, be present. I really would like to live every given moment here because it's it's more than amazing. Great. You used to be. Basketball player, you devoted many years of your life to basketball, and then you injured your your knee. Have you been able to bring anything from your sport experience into your performances as an artist? Excellent question. It's a great question. I'm an old basketball player myself. Yeah. <laughs> Spent half of my it's life. It's a great question. Yes, yes, yes. You, you all know that, that um, athletes or those who who uh, were part of any kind of sports, they have the spirit, mm -hmm. and I have that too. Uh, but you also have to consider the fact that this is not a race. This is not this is not that kind of contest. It's a, it is a song contest. It's, it's not about me. It's about the song. It's about our nation's tradition, and it's it's more than that. It's more than me. And uh, it was for me. It was easy to accept it. But I'm not racing uh, anybody. The, that is the hardest part. That as an athlete, I want to do my best. And if you do your best uh, in any kind of sport. It, it actually pays out, but this is a bit different. You have to you have to reach other countries' tastes, and that is the biggest question: whether uh, we could write a song that would touch 40 countries or 20 countries. How many points we're going to get? It, it depends on the musical taste that that we uh, that we touch that we used throughout writing the song. So it's a whole lot different. But what is up to me? I'm going to do everything. I'm going to die on that stage because it's really, really important for me to raise Hungarian flag uh, the highest possible. Thank you, Freddie. Now, questions, please. Gentleman over here, the hi. Your vision shirt. Hey, Freddie. How are you? Hey, thank you very much. Gil for ESCToday.com. So. Um, your performance, as far as we saw from the rehearsal, is pretty similar to what you had in Adal, uh, in, a, in the final of the national selection. So, how did you prepare for Eurovision for in the last two months? And is there something different in your performance from the inside, maybe? Uh, you should know that uh, the size of the stage is just multiple times. It's like a basketball court. Yeah, <laughs> not comparing the basketball, but comparing to our national final stage, it is different. It is, it is, it is so much different. So uh, we had to create something uh, bigger uh, visually, which is still in progress. It's not ready yet. What you've seen is actually uh, in the midst uh, of the progress. We are working on that. Everything's going fine. We are getting there. But um, the point was 
basically to do the same stuff as we did because that is a good point to start and uh, actually as the visual is going to uh, be more and more uh, ready to go then we are according to the visual stuff we are going to uh, change our movements uh, our gestures and, 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 and these sort of things thank you Thanks. Another question? Uh, lady, the, the man in the t-shirt, grey t-shirt in the middle here? Yes, you! Hi, I'm Simon from Polish Radio Newsletter. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> nice to see you again. The question is about uh, how you still, how, how about you flying? Because you said in Tel Aviv that it was your first fly ever in your life. Don't embarrass me. <laughs> <laughs> and no, are you... Familiar already with that? It is hard to say, as it was the the third flight uh, I have taken here. I'm not familiarized with uh, with flying. It is not my favorite means of transport, but uh, it's getting better and better. Uh, you know how it goes. Everything that is new to you, uh, you have some kind of fear uh, for that uh, stuff. And um, to tell you the truth, I, did, I didn't have any cause to to get on a plane. Uh, I, I did not go on holiday. Uh, that would have needed a flight mm -hmm. and ju just uh, so sure you know uh, how uh, short notice that thing was I actually didn't know that I need a passport I, I, my passport was expired for 10 years uh, when we realized that we are going to need that uh, flying to uh, Tel Aviv so uh, really really short notice on the last three days I, I had to renew uh, my passport so that we could do that but actually it was much better than I expected. It was it was okay. Uh, all three flights were really really good, enjoyable. You know, I shoot pictures as I've never seen. Mm. A clouds there, clouds there, clouds there, but all different, or at least I thought so. <laughs> so it it was good. So thank you for your question. I'm over it. I I liked it, but yeah. But that actually it was the introduction to question. But right, you, <laughs> your answer was quite long. You Sorry. said something that actually you had no single free day in this this year because of the preparation to Eurovision Song Contest, to national final and different festival in Hungary. So how you are able to survive with all this pressure around? I am able to survive because I'm not alone. I have a great team, I have a great management, I have a great composer uh, who are all here. They can help me with anything. As I have uh, already said, I can't stress enough how young I am in this business and you need professionals uh, in, in this case. And it's, it's really, really good and you all know that uh, having f uh, friends around, it's not just a professional uh, relationship, it's more than that. And that's why it works really, really good and I think and I really hope so that that is why uh, we could, we could um, do so many things in only one year because you know one year is 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 probably nothing uh, i just stepped in the door but i but i love it but it's it's all about our team and our management so thank you very much because you're also able to squeeze in a record long stay on the top 40 list i mean you you had a busy busy year yeah it was yeah it, it was and it is uh i don't even know when i did have uh a day rest you know it's something like when you oh my goodness oh yeah I, I can watch a good football match and I realize that I oh don't know I must have forgotten something and you just uh, you just uh, look into your, your your cell phone and you realize that yeah this day is not off you, you should have done that you should have done that and you still should do that so it's something like that but you know you first you have to cut the trees and after that, uh, are you only uh, able to, to heat up your house? So we are now cutting the trees. That's a good metaphor. More questions, please? Gentlemen up front for the camera. Hi, Freddy. My name is Farouk. I'm from Coco Eco Vision Magazine in French. Pleased to meet you in France. Uh, last year, I heard an amazing song uh, in Hungary. The song was Mary Jo, and you were the singer. Uh, please, could you sing a little bit of this song? Because I think it's one of the best songs of the year, uh, <laughs> last year. And it was a big hit uh, in Hungary also. Well, actually, uh, it was the first song. Yeah. It, basically, that was the song that uh, made me uh, step into this, uh, this business. And I can't thank enough 
uh, Kale Sander, Sandras and Sakoshi. And you, you probably knew Andras, who was in Copenhagen in 2014 and grabbed the fifth place for Hungary, one of the best. Uh, result is really good and he, he was the composer of that song. I don't really know whether you need me to sing that because it's much better uh, with a guitar but I really hope that uh, we can get there sometimes when I have my guitar and I'm gonna play that. Uh, I think it's, 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 it's much better if I have my guitar with myself okay. but keep that in mind. Okay. Uh, more questions please? Alistair? Hi, Alistair from uh, SBS Radio in Australia. Nice to meet you. After that first hit, your next record, I think, was in a different language and a different style. Yep. Um, why did you take the risk to surprise your audience and uh, what did it bring? Thank you for your question. Actually, you should know that in Hungary, not everybody speaks English. It is really hard to build a uh, career uh, with songs that you are you're, you're keep uh, keep uh, singing in English, just not pays out uh, in a long in the long run, and uh, I really find it uh, important uh, to, to to serve the audience because if they are if if I did not have an audience, then I'm just I'm just nobody. They are not going to be concerts. Uh, they loved Mary Jo, uh, even though it was a uh, uh, an English uh, song, but you know we have a beautiful uh, language. Hungarian is a, is a really, really beautiful language, uh, which is just excellent for writing poems because there are a million ways to express things. And uh, we figured that those songs that are really, really deep and comes from the heart and about love, um, supposed to be written in Hungarian. And that is why it actually needed uh, to be dressed up differently. Uh, Mary Jo is just, uh, it's like a summer, summer hit that is really, really catchy. Um, and everybody could sing that along, even uh, Hungarian people who don't, uh, do not speak the language. But they needed that. Actually, it's like a necklace, you know. It, it is like a jewelry. That, that song is, is different. It's, it's, it's not, a, it's, it's not, a, not a, a common hit. It's different. It's deeper. It's like a necklace. Freddie, I have one final question for you. And I ask this, you know this by now, to all the artists. What does this theme come together? What does it mean to you? Uh, our, our theme? No, the, t the theme come together. The, the, come the, together, the, yeah. the theme for I the innovation. Sorry for uh, saying this, but I feel like that our song is basically for that. Because our, our song is about uh, being authentic, being being original, being uh, proud of, of who you really are, and coming together means that that you just set aside uh, everything that that uh, unfortunately is actual in our world. Uh, so when I when when I heard the theme, I just I just I, I couldn't say anything that wow, it, it's about us. It's about it's about the song. Pioneer. Um, just means that we have to solve our problems, our inner clashes. Um, otherwise, we just we just can't be happy. And happy is in the pr in our presence. Excellent. Well, thank you thank so you much, much, all of you, for coming. And thank best of luck. Much. Give them a warm hand. Thank you very much. And questions for interviews will be handed uh, by the.